Okay, so you've decided that you want to root your LG television. There may be a number of different reasons for doing so, such as ad-free YouTube, etc. But I am very interested in running PP Pawn for the PlayStation 4. Now, this video will be broken up into two sections. One, just for the generalist that wants to jailbreak their LG television. And then there will be the second part for those that's interested in using this rooted television in order to jailbreak their PS4 with something such as PP Pawn. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, the first way that you can jailbreak it is by going to the web browser on the television. Now, if you go to the web browser on the television, you just simply type in rootmy.tv and then you drag this slider right here. Now, for the vast majority of you, this is not going to work. Mainly the reason it's not going to work is, is that all firmware that was released since mid-2020 has been completely patched. So you might have an LG TV that has never been connected to the internet, and for you, this is going to work just fine. Now, for the rest of us, and I classify that as pretty much the other 95%, the way that we're going to jailbreak our television is through this project right here called Deja Vun. Auto root. And so if we scroll down into this, it provides a bunch of different information on what televisions were supported. For the most part, if you have a television from 2017 up until right around 2023, you're probably going to be in great shape. So in order to get started with this, all you need to do is to simply come over here to the releases page. And then you're going to want to download this zip file right here. And so looking inside this release here, we can see we have a homebrew channel, which will be installed, a shell script, and then the exploit right here, which pretends that it is an MP3 file. So what you need to do is you need to copy all of these to the root of a USB stick. Now, make sure that you format that in FAT32. At least with my test, FAT32 does work. So let's go ahead and get our television jailbroken, and then we will switch over and do the part for the PlayStation 4. Okay, so on the back of my television, I simply have my USB drive plugged into my USB in. It is at the top for most of the LG televisions. And so now if you go to where it says help on your television, you can see a software update and it will have a version number. Now, this is the version that I use that worked on my machine, so hopefully it works on yours. I would go ahead and take this check mark off of auto update. We're gonna block updates in just a second, but go ahead and take that check mark off of that. Now, what we need to do is we need to go back to the main menu. Okay, and at your main screen, we're gonna go to right here where it says media player. And you can see I have a drive installed up at the top. Okay, so I'm just going to navigate into the folder where it's at. And you can see it's going to be this one right here, which has the LOL. And you're going to click on it. Then there is a, another folder called temp. And then you just want to play the MP3 file in here. Now I had two because I did this on a Mac. But you can see down at the bottom, says that the rooting is complete. It says you may need to reboot for the homebrew channel to appear. Do you want to reboot? And we're going to go reboot now. And before we do that, one thing to make a note of here is, is that down here at the bottom, it does say do not install the LG dev mode app while rooted. I didn't have that installed on mine, so it was no big deal, but just make sure you don't do that either. And then once it reboots, you will have this option right here for the homebrew channel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select that. And the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our settings. And then once we go into settings, by default, it automatically has a Telnet server turned on. We want to do a couple of different things here. So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to turn on our SSH server. And then we want to block the system updates. And then for the fail safe mode, you can turn this on or turn this off. Really what this does, it says that this disables all early system modifications and leaves a recovery telnet running. So in case something happens, you can get back into it. 
but there is a number of ways to get back into a rooted situation once you have ran this exploit. So I'm going to leave mine off. There will be some more system information down here as far as what WebOS version that we're using and then what the root status is. You will need to take this option right here to reboot the system in order for any of this configuration to apply. So go ahead and take that option to reboot your LG TV. Okay, and now what you need to do is you need to get the IP address of your television. Now, the easiest way that I find my IP address is because I use a router that has an iPhone app. And so I just logged into my app and I looked for LG Web OS TV and I found right there is my IP address. So that is the IP address that I'm going to need to SSH into the box. You should be able to get yours from your router configuration as well. Now, I just so happened to be on a Mac when I was trying this. And so I use the terminal. And if you are using a terminal just like me, it's just simply going to be SSH. And then the username is going to be root. And then you put an at sign and then the IP address. Once you do that, then the password is just going to be Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E, all lowercase letters. Now, obviously, if you are using Windows, you could just use PuTTY. Just punch in the IP address, and you're going to leave the port as it is, and then press open. Now, you will have to provide your username and password once you do that. And now, at this point, your LG television has been rooted. So if you're interested in doing some other things with it, you now have that ability to do so. What I'm very interested in now is running PP Pawn on my LG television. So let's go ahead and let's look at how we would do that. So now is a great time to go ahead and take your Ethernet cable and plug it into your television and then plug it into the back of your PlayStation 4. So there's a couple of different ways to run PP Pawn on your LG television once it's rooted. Now, I personally like this project right here, even though it is not the original. I know that these two developers are starting to work together, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use this one. Now, what we'll see down in here is, is that there is some requirements, which I'm about to walk you through. And then there is some instructions down here, which I will also walk you through. But this is a good page just to have, just in case you want to follow this on your own. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to our media internal downloads folder. And then from there, we're just going to run this wget command, which pulls down the project from GitHub. So we'll go ahead and press return on that. Now, the next thing we need to do here is we need to unzip that main.zip. So now we have unzipped it. And then the next options, we need to CD into the folder that we just unzipped. So now I have CD'd into that folder. And all we need to do now is we need to run this change mod plus X. So we get execute permission for our start.sh. And then we can just run the start.sh. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to run this and show you live what it looks like on my television. So I'm going to go ahead and press the start.sh and press return. And we can see right there it's waiting. And then it is waiting again. Now it looks like it is configuring. And we will take a quick peek up here at the television and see again, nothing's happening yet because it's on the heap grooming stage. And we'll let this go ahead and finish up here. Now it is pinning to the CPU. And it does say that it's done. Stage one is done. And look up there at the TV. Still nothing just yet. Plus we are waiting for stage two, three, and four to complete. So right here you can see stage three is where we're currently at. And now it has finished up and it's on stage four. And now we can see there is a little PPLG pawn notification message that pops. And then right here is PP pawned. And now we have 
gold hen that is running on the system here, which is very, very cool. Now, you can get this to run automatically, and one way you can do that is just type in VI and then add in this here, which goes to the startup.sh. Once you do that, basically you're just looking for a good place to put it. Where I put mine was just simply right here after the SSH server was started up. So there's the telnet, there's the SSH server. And what you could put right here after the SSHD is just basically CD into that directory right there and then run the dot slash start dot SH. So then when you reboot your console and your LG television, it looks something like this. Okay, here is my PS4. I just booted it back up again. Again, this is completely automatic because I have this now in the script. So it will just automatically run. And so very, very, very shortly, our PS4 on 11.0 without doing absolutely anything is completely jailbroken, which this kind of blows my mind here because now uh, this is better than the 9.0 USB exploit if you already have an LG television. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this video today. I really want to thank you all for subscribing and for watching the channel. I've had a lot of great views coming in here, lots of brand new people. Hopefully I can continue delivering good quality content that you all like to watch. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.